Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Makakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, of great millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, shalom to the Akim, scattered to the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And I say shalom to your Akim out there. Uh, this is uh, in the news for uh, November 17, 2021, on this uh, Wednesday night. And I'm going to bring out the news article. <coughs> Salakia. And bring the news article out. And this is uh, from uh, CNBC. Weather and Natural Disasters. And this is published on November 17, 2021 at 6.36 Eastern Time. And it says, uh, Flood, Lavish. British Columbia declares state of emergency. <clears throat> and it says uh, the Canadian province of British Columbia on the Pacific coast declares state of emergency on Wednesday following a massive floods and landslides caused by a world, I mean, a record breaking rainfall in the last several days. Authorities have confirmed that one death from a mudslide on Monday and anticipating the death toll to rise. The government of Canada has deployed its air force to the area to aid evacuations and support disrupt supply chains. The Canadian province of British Columbia on the Pacific coast had uh, declared a state of emergency on Wednesday following massive floods and landslides and caused by a world-breaking rainfall in the last several days. Authorities have confirmed one death from the mudslide on Monday and anticipating the death toll to rise. Officials also... So lucky about that. It says officials also said it could take weeks for the province to recover from I mean, the providence to recover from the storms to terrible rain, which hit southern British Columbia between Saturday and Monday. Thousands of people are stranded and seeking shelter. The government of Canada has deployed its air force <clears throat> to the area to aid the evacuations and support disrupt supply chains. The flood conditions have cut off transport routes between the lower mainland of British Columbia and Providence Interior to, and cut all rail access to Kennedy, Canada's largest port in Vancouver. Uh, we are sending help your way, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau wrote in the tweet on Wednesday. We have improved <clears throat> We have improved the Providence request for assistance and will have more Canadian Force members on the ground as soon as possible to keep you safe to support supply chain routes in Providence and other necessary assistance. The flood calamity uh, come less than six months after a extreme heat uh, events scorched Canadian uh, weathermost providence in of British Columbia over the summer of uh, breath I mean breaking temperature records and causing hundreds of heat related deaths it says the climate change has contributed contributed to more frequent and intense weather events like wildfires and droughts and floods it says British Columbia uh, premium John Horgan uh, Described the disaster as one in the 500 year events during a uh, news conference on Wednesday. <clears throat> and continuing on with the news article, we will bring in travel restrictions, ensure that transportation of instance, essential goods, and medical and emergency services are available to reach the uh, communities that need it, Harskin said. 
these are very challenging times horse can add it i have been at this dates over the past two years you know now talking about challenging times we have faced unprehended challenges with public health uh, fires and uh, heat domes and now dimpulating floods that we have never seen before for those who understand and recognize that these events are increasing regularly because of uh, efforts of human caused climate change there is hope he continued pointing to the providence plans to reduce the carbon emissions sharp by 2030 we need to act now to make the changes in our community and in our economy that will protect us from us from these kinds of events in the near future it says our agriculture minister Lenning Paul Fame uh, said during the briefing that thousands of animals have died and hundreds of farms are still impacted by the flooding. Paul Fame uh, vows financial and, and uh, veter veterinarian aid for farmers who livestock has been harmed. So, you know, this was uh, <clears throat> as I was reading this whole article right here in the news about, uh, you know, uh, British Columbia. Uh, declaring a state of emergency at the um, mudslides and uh, record-breaking uh, rainfalls. You know, they said one person has died so far, and it was like 500 people were trapped in the uh, landslides, I believe. And they said the death toll expected to rise. First, there was one person killed and the 500 uh, trapped. And I believe they said they rescued like 30 or 40 people so far. So still like 400 some people left uh, trapped in these mudslides. And you, knew, you know, as you read through the article that the prime minister said he was gonna, uh, mm -hmm. and the prime minister said he was gonna, uh, you know, uh, send e rescue efforts, you know. So, you know, these are the signs of the times that we are living in. That's why you're seeing these record-breaking rainfalls and storms and earthquakes in diverse places and everything like that. And I'm bring out a scripture for that. You know, I ain't gonna do this lesson too long. You know, this is a little quick sit down lesson that I wanted to do for uh, this Wednesday afternoon, uh, November 17, 2021. And this is the scripture to close it out. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 6, and it read through the Holy Scriptures. Thou shalt be visited, the Lord of hosts, with thunder and earthquakes. And great noise was storms and tempests and the flames of fire, the flames of devouring fire. Right, because you know, uh, the Heavenly Father, you know, we ignorantly call the, uh, God, which is Yahweh, in the true name in the Hebrew, you know, uh, you know, now, you know, he's starting to visit this place with earthquakes and storms and heavy rains and mudslides and everything like that on this planet Earth. You know, so, you know, that's the Heavenly Father's bringing judgment on this planet Earth. And it's going to continue to rise in these last days. And then, you know, you're starting to see uh, these many different countries that never expected these uh, high volumes of rains. You know, the high volumes of rain floods and stuff like that. And these storms and heavy mudslides. And I started to notice that these mudslides definitely starting being effective in these last days. You know, you've been seeing these countries been hit with uh, <clears throat> these heavy mudslides and heavy floodings and houses, <clears throat> houses and businesses and stuff being destroyed by these heavy floods and rains and storms and these landslides. Because, you know, hey, the Lord of hosts is definitely visiting this earth. You know, you know Yahweh thy power is a strong, strong power, you know. The Heavenly Father's strong power, there's nothing to be played with, you know. And there's only begotten Son, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, which is Yahweh Shah as well, too. Hey, they, 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 that great power is nothing to be played with, you know. But back to the topic at hand, so, you know, as I was reading this news article right here, you know, you're starting to see more continual increase 
of heavy storms and earthquakes in diverse places in these last days, you know, and expect to see more of these things happen in these last days for it to, uh, for it to increase. But with that, I hope this was edifying through this period, through the grace and mercy and the spirit of power of Yahweh Yahusha. And first and foremost, uh, I'd like to give all praise and glory to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakakadash, double honors to the elders, apostles, of great millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And uh, shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. Until next time, I will say shalom.